I wanted to address my thoughts on the new footage that esports boxing clubs dropped to the creators on the Discord, and also my thoughts on covering ESBC as a whole. You might like it, you might not, but there's a couple of reasons why I haven't said much about it, and you should pick up on it as I go. I'm going to address things in this order. The gameplay footage, my thoughts on the pre-alpha build that was provided, and my thoughts on ESBC and how I will be covering ESBC on my channel. Let's talk about it. So this gameplay dropped on 27 April 2022 to the certified creators on the ESBC Discord, and I was excited to see it. One of the reasons why I haven't responded is time. I'm just busy with work and obligations, y'all. But I love to talk about ESBC, boxing in general, and For Honor, which for some reason I don't think you guys like, because you don't like my videos on it. But anyway, so the first footage I saw was from Fanatico and his walkthrough. And since I'm not a creator in the ESBC Discord, I just grabbed some shots of what I saw him and others show just to accentuate any points that I have. Now I want to flash back for a second. And you remember when the, the six creators, they came back, they put out their videos, we all jumped on it and listened to it. And they had some good things, some bad things, some okay things to say about the game, right? And things sounded promising. We didn't see any gameplay, but everything sounded promising. I, I like what I was hearing. I felt like ESPC is getting closer. You know, and even seeing this footage now, I don't feel any different. And that's part of the problem. But I'll say, like I said, I was happy to see what they actually got a chance to play. But I was so puzzled. As to why they would even drop this for us all to take in. We heard about how good the game looks. And looking at this, it's all true. Character models look good down to the boots. Movement looks good. But we're still seeing the issues with the punches as expected, as was mentioned. I mentioned in one of my comments in one of Fanatico's posts. I can't remember which video it was. I mentioned that they don't need to slow up the punches for the players. Make those bad boys as real as possible based on the fighter's statistics and traits. When I look at that video, it is obvious the hitch in the fighter, and that's because of the animation, that you see when someone throws a power punch. And I really hope that gets smoothed out. I hope they speed that up. I hope they make that more smooth and more natural looking. Something that I think is getting overblown is the fighting within the gameplay. I saw comments of people complaining about the gameplay saying that's not boxing. We just got to remember that's not how all people are going to play. And isn't the point of ESBC to be inclusive and help grow the sport? You shouldn't have to be that knowledgeable of the sweet science to jump in and have fun. So we should be wary of our criticism when it comes to the style of play and focus on the particulars that will affect you. I have faith ESBC will be formed. So someone that knows boxing should rarely lose to someone just spamming left and right hooks. So keep that in mind, y'all. It's impossible to gain a full grasp of all the aspects of this game with just these snippets of gameplay. We know as gamers and fans of the sport that we got to get our hands on the product, digest it, and then tear Steel City Interactive apart if we need to. But let's wait for that, all right? Let's wait and let's get it. But I feel some of you, some of your, your pain, I should say. I feel like we are all a part of a social experiment right now. I'm not going to lie. Because I can't think of any other reason to release the same pre-alpha bill gameplay footage that has largely already been discussed if they were going to do this. They should have released the footage from when the creators played it and not this. It just doesn't make sense to me. On one hand, I appreciate them trying to feed the community, but on the other hand, I want them to feed us more relevant information that pushes the game forward and has us thinking forward versus gameplay of an old bill that we already heard about so many bugs. And this was cool, but I'm going to be honest and tell you I'm not satisfied with this. I'm eager to see the next bit of information and gosh dang it, it needs to push us forward. Not having the community spin our wheels again and again over old footage or old information. Still City, ESBC, 
If by happenstance you run across this video, I'm happy that you engage with the community. I want you to continue to engage with the community, but do it in meaningful ways. When you had those creators go there, play the game, come back, that was great. That was great. But you should have just released video of them or let them bring some footage back that they can put on their channels. You know, and maybe this was, maybe you thought about that and then you said, all right, let's go ahead and release some, uh, some footage. Let's put together some footage from that build and put it out there so people can see it. It's possible. I just want to see y'all do a little better. And I know you will. I'm staying positive about it. Show me something. I think ESBC is going to be highly successful for two primary reasons. The people behind developing the game are boxing fans and the passionate boxing fans that have been waiting for a quality sim boxing game forever. I don't think it will fail. I do think it's coming. And my prediction was quarter one, 2023. But if it is in quarter four, Around December, let's say, like the placeholder date says on Steam, I'll be happy. And when it comes, I'll be covering it. I'm going to be playing the game. You will see gameplay on my channel. I will be talking to you about certain modes to get your thoughts because I don't play all modes every game. I'm going to be real with you. I'll try it. And if I don't like it, I'm not playing it. But I'm always open to the conversation. I hope to get some matches with y'all when it comes out. And I'll put those on my channel, win, lose, or draw. I'll tell you, I'm not a pro gamer. I'm not a competitive player. When I say I'm not competitive, I mean I'm not competitive as, as far as a pro gamer competitive. But I do like to win. Losing is not fun to me. I will not be playing any of y'all until I know what the heck I'm doing. And so don't challenge me until you know what you're doing. We're going to have a lot of fun supporting this game, y'all. I already can see it. I can feel it. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. But in the interim, we shouldn't just accept and be okay with any information provided. I've mentioned before, if they went quiet, I'm cool with it. As long as when you give us something, it's tangible. I look forward to gaming with y'all. And when ESBC team posts something, I'll have something to say. Might not be right away, but it will be coming. Until then, there are other games to play. And my favorite is still For Honor. So I'll be dropping plenty of those gameplay videos along with normal boxing coverage videos, mostly the women's side. If you want to catch a game of For Honor with me, hit me up. That's all I have for this one. Bit of a rant, but I want to address this. Thank you all for watching and supporting this channel. Until next time, I'm out. <coughs>